I thought I was eating healthy, but instead my energy was crashing, I couldn't be productive, and there was no way I could make my immigrant parents proud. Before you did the sugar binge, your labs looked really good. I wondered, is this why I struggle to focus, feel tired all the time, and I'm developing a dad gut? I had to put it to the test. This is 30 days of quitting sugar. Okay, so I just did my blood, and now we're about to go get a DEXA scan to kind of see how my body is right now, and then we'll compare it 30 days from now to see how my body has actually changed. What's your weight today? Zero It'll measure it, right? It measures an exact mass, about 11.3 pounds of those were fat. So your body fat percentage went up by 5%. I have a sugar addiction. So these are my body measurements and blood work. It's surprising how brands market themselves as healthy and I believe them. Now I'm on a mission to reverse this. And that's when I saw this. Oat milk is the new Coke. For me, it started with a little bit of oat milk in my coffee, yogurt with fruit on the packaging for breakfast, and Cliff Bars as a snack. But then it slowly turned into M&Ms every once in a while, then ice cream after every dinner, and then finally a really, really bad habit. But just quitting sugar isn't enough. We need to binge to truly understand how bad is it. Oh my. My sister ate my donut. Come on, you think I'm never eating sugar again? One thing I didn't tell you, what I did do is I, I quit sugar for 30 days and that was the first test. So I was hoping to see some improvements in my blood work. Kind of four days in between, I went on a sugar binge to see how bad could my numbers get within four days. The average American consumes about 77 grams of sugar and the recommended amount is about 24. So three times the normal amount. Commence the sugar binge for science. Right there, 13 grams of added sugar. It says devour. Mm. Chocolate for breakfast. Here we got Levine, Mr. Beast, Optic Zero. I'm not gonna lie right now, but my tummy hurts. <laughs> For three more days, baby. Could those four days of sugar binging have had such a negative impact in such a short amount of time? Like I said, the triglycerides, as you can see, had a, a massive increase. So did the fasting insulin. I, those are the two things that really jump out at me. Breakfast day two means more Mr. Beast. A little bit of leftover cookies I couldn't finish last night, and more stomach aches. You're getting a matcha, right? I'm getting a matcha latte. I made sure to get oat milk because that has like seven to nine grams of added sugar. So I'm about 20 with the Mr. Beast chocolate. This whole eating 77 grams of sugar is pretty freaking hard, but I'm gonna eat this while walking just to be able to hit my dosage for the next couple days. I was actually surprised that your that your fasting insulin is there. Again, it may be that the food that you ate before you took the test was processed in such a way. Or I haven't had my Ben and Jerry. 1,200 calories, 106 grams of sugar, which is, I'm definitely not gonna be eating an entire pint like this ever again. Day three of eating Mr. Beast chocolate. This is my levels monitor. It's not gonna be very happy. I just realized that I had chocolate before I even drank water, breaking all the health rules. Stay hydrated. They say almond and quinoa, so it must be healthy, right? If you're really sugar binging, I, I think you could develop metabolic dysfunction actually pretty quickly with that, just because the body not designed to deal with excess. Let's eat another one. I'm starting to crave sugar again, like, but we're doing this for science, right? Right. Uh, and then, could I also get a Nutella as well? Thank you so much. A Nutella. Should be ample enough sugar for today. Thank you so much. Oh. Now this challenge wouldn't be complete. Growing up, we were never allowed to have soda. This has included 41 grams of added sugar or about 90 grams of sugar. But what I'm really curious about is what is my glycemic response going to be for the Mr. Beast Burger? Because today, as you can see, I'm at 90, which is pretty good. 90 out of 100, that's like an A minus. Oh my God. I can't do this. I'm done. This tastes like America. It's been about an hour. I feel lethargic. I don't want to do anything. I'm definitely overdosed on sugar but I'm craving more sugar. Day four of eating Mr. Beast chocolate for breakfast. This is such a good case study of you can imagine that if you follow that sugar binge for 10 years, your body would be working that hard all the time. Could I get a Big Mac, please? This right here is 69 grams of sugar, added sugar. Oh! I brought you dinner. Oh God. Juicy Big Mac. Did you know that they get the fries so golden because there's literally sugar in it? That's America for you. So Mike, I'm not gonna lie, but this whole sugar thing is exhausting. But I literally feel like, I just feel like I'm shutting down. 18 grams of juicy sugar. I gotta hit my daily dose. I can't wait till this challenge is over. Very significant. This is probably the most notable thing on your labs. Yeah, we're good, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Just four days of the average American sugar intake and my body was headed to absolute destruction. And just laid my hand out, got my blood drawn. 
After consuming the average American sugar intake for just four days, my triglycerides shot up, my fasting insulin shot up. I was really surprised at how fast my blood work trended in the wrong direction. Now I'm cutting added sugar for 30 days. Let's see how fast I can improve my blood work. The rules for this 30 days of no sugar are as follows. No added sugars, that includes these little fruit yogurts, Twinkies, but I am allowed to have fruit. I'm going to aim to have low glycemic index fruits. Even this milk has added sugar. Surprisingly, if you didn't know, this actually has like 14 grams of added sugars. These not so perfect bars have 12 grams of added sugars. And healthy chocolate milk, six grams of added sugars. I really want to vomit right now. I also have my Levels Health CGM installed right here. Glucose of 100. Let's see what happens when I eat all of this sugar. Mm. Been about uh, 30 minutes, I didn't peak very high, but I definitely feel like I'm crashing from all that sugar. I'm kind of happy to be quitting all this sugar. Breakfast right here, thanks to mom. Thank you, mom. But this amazing Heinz ketchup has about four grams of sugar in it, so I cannot have the ketchup. We've got our protein, our fats, and some potatoes. Single ingredient food. So far, this is pretty easy, I can do this. This is so struggle, why can't I get over this sugar addiction? All I want is a donut or a candy bar. This is extremely hard and it's raining. I want to go to 7-Eleven. I want to get like a candy bar or I want to go get a donut and I can't. I am absolutely craving sugar right now. Why can't I get over this sugar addiction? But, figured out how I'm going to get my fix. I'm going to eat two of these cookies. Zero grams of added sugar. Quest, these protein cookies, whatever they are. Thank you for saving my life. How I feel is one thing. So I had to consult an expert to truly understand how my blood work is changing throughout this experiment. Welcome, Lauren, thank you. It's good to have you here. I'm excited to be here. I am the head of clinical product at Levels Health, and we are a metabolic health company that helps you see how food affects your health. So I did three different blood tests. And I should preface by saying, I can't give official medical advice, but I'll just tell you what I'm seeing. Currently at the grocery store and I want to get a snack. Like beef jerky, right? It's meat, it's protein. Look at it, five grams of sugar. Can't get that. Sugar, sugar, sugar. What am I supposed to eat? There's nothing here. Blood sugar really can be impacted by so many things. The food you eat, the way you're moving your body, the sleep you got that night, whether or not you're stressed. Do you eat a lot of sugar? I call that bringing your vibration down, but you're at your personal wavelength. So that means it's not good for you. So sugar brings my personal vibration down. Proper contact they call it is personal wavelength. This right here is the absolute hardest part of not eating sugar, is when you walk by this and you're in a wee work. Oh my God. Dude, it even says satisfies on it. Look at that, Snickers satisfies. A drop from 106 to 44 is very significant. This is probably the most notable thing on your labs. Um, a really good sign that something is changing in your body when it comes to the way that your body is processing the calories that you're eating. The biggest thing I've learned in the sugar thing is that one way around the no sugar is look for things that are keto based. So I've noticed, for example, this is actually one of the first things I've ever seen. This is hard ketone alcohol. I'm excited to try it. Let's see if it actually works. But keto cookies, keto donuts, keto bread typically doesn't have sugar in it because they have carbs or sugar. Again, the triglyceride trend down, especially between the first two labs, is a great sign that things are changing. Okay, it tastes like seltzer. It's got like a light alcohol taste, but it's it's definitely got a little bit of flavor, not very sweet, but it's bubbly, it's seltzery. I don't know if you can get drunk off of this. I feel a little uppity uppity. Let's go party! I'm about to order Chipotle. It still has some sugar in it, but it's not added sugars, I don't think. Thank you. After I eat lunch or dinner, I do typically have these sugar cravings I want. I want like a sweet snack and I ate it. I don't just want sweets and I can't have them. Satiate my needs with this banana here. I think it's so interesting, and I think so much of what Level's goal is, is just to help people learn about their body. Day 14, just had some Chipotle right here. I didn't realize how bad this was until like every single time I ate dinner, I want some kind of sugar. So option one is I can have some fruit, I can use my salt, little salt drink, but, husband, what do we have? Keto ice cream bars. <laughs> Look at that right there. No added sugars, which means that I'm allowed to have this ice cream. Thank you, keto world. Oh. Oh, it's been so long, I'm drooling. It feels like ice cream, but it doesn't taste like anything. Like usually when you have chocolate, you get this hit of like, woo! It doesn't give you that dopamine. It looks like dessert, but these are actually high protein muffins. It says no added sugars. For this experiment, they are technically safe to eat. Five grams of total sugars, zero grams of added sugars. I think it's using erythrol to like sweeten it. Is that bad? Somebody let me know. Now, if you want to hang out with friends, one of the big things you have to worry about is White Claw, right? Does it have added sugars? Yes, it has two grams of added sugar. But I do have a secret for you. 
It is my favorite brand. This one has zero grams of sugar. Now that we've gathered our drinks and spritzers, so one thing to note is when you're gonna go eat, right, you wanna have no sugar. So what I have to do is make sure eating whole foods only when we arrive at this social atmosphere. Like certain salsas, maybe some guacs will have like sugar in it, so I'll eat carrots. I don't know if the pizza, the pizza sauce will have sugar. This right here is the absolute hardest part. I'm gonna do my levels health blood test. It's about to come over right now. <laughs> do I have good veins? Usually that's a nice, it looks good. It looks nice good. pipe right there you can plug into. <laughs> Yeah, I pulled I have really good veins for extracting blood. Final day of no sugar. Let's go ahead and weigh myself here. Looks like we are at 202 pounds, 15.4%. Who knows how accurate this is? Not much has changed. I've probably lost like two pounds. And I will be measuring myself with this little smart measuring tape. All right, here for the final DEXA scan about 30 days after. One hundred six, forty-four, eighty-four. Positive trend, and I would be happy with that if I were you. I'm not exactly sure why it went from forty-four to eighty-four. Thank you so much. Where's the place? Just got my results for this uh, DEXA scan, and it's totally different than my other ones. Yeah, so far the whole sugar thing, I feel like my skin looks nicer. Still craving a little bit of sugar. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed. Well, from my perspective, it's not so much um, such a huge sacrifice. And, and it had a really big impact. Big impact indeed. And these are my final results from quitting and then binging on sugar. What's interesting from the DEXA scan is I actually lost five pounds, but I gained 2% of body fat percentage. I did use two different providers, so I'm not sure if there's a margin of error, two different units, but overall I did feel better. Now, one of the easiest ways to understand the best custom diet for you is to use one of these Levels Health CGM monitors right here. So watch my review on the Continuous Glucose Monitor linked right here.